Hello, my name is Haley, and let's get into the seven books that I read this week. So starting off with, I finally read the Ravenhood series. I have a really good friend and she is obsessed with this series. I finally caved in and decided it was time to see what these were all about. This series is really good and spoiler warning potentially, but Tobias is my favorite. I'm obsessed with him. Don't get me wrong, I loved Sean and Dawn, but I feel like Kate Stewart does an excellent job at letting us know her feelings, Cecilia's feelings with Tobias and that they were different than her feelings with Dom or Sean. Throughout this whole series, I was like this the whole time. It is such an emotional roller coaster. There are extremely high highs and extremely low lows. Um, I constantly got this burning sensation in my chest. I also think that Kate Stewart does a fantastic job at incorporating songs into her books and really making you feel the scene and it really plays out in your head like a movie. With that being said, I know a lot of people stop after Exodus and they kind of DNF the series. Um, I think the finish line is my favorite of the entire series. I feel like you get the healing that you need. There's a lot of groveling and uh, tension between these and Cecilia really ends up being such a badass in the finish line. I just loved this series so much and I kind of regret putting it off for so long. Moving along, I read Treasures of the Abyss by Tiffany Roberts, and this was really fun. I'm kind of entering my monster romance era, and the dude's a kraken. Like, hello. This is set in a place where humans don't know that krakens exist, but krakens know that humans exist, and they have stayed hidden from the humans for quite some time. However, FMC goes out on a boat ride and something occurs and so she finds herself in the hands of this kraken. Initially she's kind of freaked out but then eventually she's like why am I feeling like this? This is so weird. And when she gives into those feelings, oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Then I read The Wrong Game by Candy Steiner, and I'm not a huge sports romance girly. I know nothing about football, but this was a really nice like palate cleanser. The FMC has bought two season pass tickets for um, her like favorite football team, and it's for her and her fiance. However, something occurs and so she is now left trying to find a replacement to accompany her in these season tickets. Her best friend's like, you're going to go on a dating app, one guy for game, you're gonna just go wild out, have fun. And when they're discussing this, they're at the bar and their bartender kind of like wiggles his way in there and so they, agreed to go on like a trial thing. Of course, the MMC is like obsessed with her instantly. She's super adamant on just keeping this like a one-time thing. He's like, no, give me more chances. I loved this book a lot. Moving along, I read Chaining Daisy by Ann Denton. And this is heavy on the daddy kink. The MMC in this one, he runs into the FMC at the hospital. Come to find out her mother is in hospital because she is super sick. So he decides to marry her mom and this will give her mom better health insurance. Essentially it's for him to give the FMC more time with her mother. However, the time with her mother is limited. And so the FMC has a really hard time because she feels bad that she's attracted to her stepfather. But he becomes really like possessive over her and the tension forms and it's just too hot and they just decide to test the waters a little bit. They essentially role play and he discloses he's got a few more other kinks. It's forbidden, taboo, 
and those are some of my favorite romances to read. Then I read Amnesia by Kylie Hillman and this one is about the villains baby. I loved this book. This is super psychological because she has these feelings when it comes to the MMC and she's really confused by them because she's like no I don't remember this and then she's kind of remembering something else and if you love the villains winning I think you'll love this one. The last book I read is Twisted Game by Eva Ashwood. I got this as an ARC and from like page one I was instantly obsessed with this book. The FMC her upbringing is super sad and her parents died when she was really young and she was adopted but her adoptive mother was not the best, super manipulative, and she really wants to better her life. With that, she's in college. She is a sophomore in college, but her university fees are due soon, and unfortunately, she's just barely scraping by as it is. Her job is at a, a strip club, but she is just a cocktail waitress, and so she asks her boss, like, hey, can I dance? A few nights I really need the extra cash her boss is kind of like an asshole and he's like no but I have something else better for you are you still a virgin and she is so he's like I know a guy who will pay this amount of money for your virginity so she's really sick to her stomach about this decision but like what else can she do right here she is about to do it she's finally like all right it's it is what it is like I have to do this um, and then, well, shit kind of hits the fan and her life is essentially put on the line, but these three brothers kind of step in and this book is just so good. The forced proximity in this happens supernaturally. There is a bit of stalking in this between the brothers with her. Then you've got the fact that it's why choose. It is a slow burn, so the tension by the time things actually occur, you are ready to combust. Anyway, that's all of the books that I read this week. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.